These shots, fired in Myanmar's northern Shan state at around 4 a.m. on October 27, are part of a series of attacks codenamed Operation 1027, named for the date it began. The attacks have grown into what appears to be the Myanmar military's biggest threat in decades as it faces off three ethnic armies known as the Brotherhood Alliance. The Brotherhood Alliance is made up of armies of three ethnic minorities, Arakan, Kokang, Ta'ang. Their aims are to get rid of Myanmar junta dictatorship as well as eradicate online scam syndicates operating in Northern China State, which is across China's border. But Operation 1027 has also inspired other resistance forces to combine firepower, including other ethnic armies as well as civilian fighters known as the PDFs or People's Defense Force. Let's take a look at how the events unfolded. The same day that Operation 1027 was launched in Shan State, another ethnic army attacked Kayin State south of Shan. Days later, Kachin up north was targeted. Two weeks after Operation 1027, the Arakan army attacked Rakhine State. Simultaneous clashes have broken out in Sagai, Chin, Magui, and Kaya states, among others. What motivated the attacks? On the surface, it seems as though the Brotherhood Alliance is leading the charge to end Myanmar's dictatorship. But the real reason? Territorial disputes, ranging from the ethnic armies wanting to take control of certain areas to extending their influence on trade routes. Another theory is that China is fed up with Myanmar Junta's being unwilling or unable to get rid of online scam syndicates in Shan State. The Brotherhood Alliance, with the objective to stamp out such white collar crimes, is useful in this regard. Operation 1027 has had far reaching implications domestically and regionally. Within Myanmar, at least 200,000 people have been forced to flee their homes amid the latest clashes. That is on top of more than 1 million people already displaced since the coup. Myanmar's neighbours like India and China also have to grapple with refugees at their doorstep. Days after Operation 1027, Indonesia said it will continue to engage with all key stakeholders until its ASEAN Championship wraps up at the end of the year. But many of these key stakeholders are busy engaging in active battle. So what this means is that Operation 1027 has made it even more difficult for ASEAN to help resolve the Myanmar crisis. So what's next? Operation 1027 has set up a series of actions by the Myanmar Junta. For one, it changed the leadership in one of the Northern Shan State territories. And then, it immediately went after alleged masterminds, suspects who are involved in the online scam syndicates. The military has also vowed repeatedly to fight against the rebels. But some experts are saying that they are seeing signs of de-escalation. For example, the areas of conflicts are reduced and the Myanmar army is slowly but surely gaining an upper hand. And if the clashes were to ever go out of hand, expect China to enter the fray and play peacemaker to both sides.